The sugarcane industry inaugurated the first of its kind metarhizium laboratory. This lab will use naturally occurring organisms like fungi called metarhizium. In the lab, it will be developed as an alternative to conventional chemical pesticides. It will be used to prevent and or control a number of pest infestations, including the destructive frog hopper a major pest that targets sugarcane crops. The metarhizium is an effective and environmentally friendly biological control method that is in line with international standards. Our goal as an industry is to become competitive, not ignoring the challenges we are facing in terms of production, the unstable sugar global market prices, the prolonged periods of droughts and the effects of climate change, and as a result, the appearance of new pests and diseases every day. Therefore, the need for venturing towards more environmentally friendly alternatives for production without compromising human health while safeguarding nature and its ecology. All of us associations are aware that we are certified under the Fair Trade brand and that to comply with the Fair Trade standards we need to stop using chemicals and to start using biological control agents for controlling pests. This is something that we have long awaited and now it is here. The facility to produce biological control agents, such as the well known to our farmers, Metarhizium. The frog hopper alone has caused millions of dollars in losses to the sugarcane industry. It is a pest that has been around for years and affects cane farmers by increasing cost of production due to the need for regular chemical controls, which results in a decrease of sugarcane production. With global demands for environmentally safe and organically produced crops, this couldn't have come at a better time. In 2006-2007, according to the records that I was looking at, the industry lost 100,000 tons of cane due to frog hopper damage at a cost of $9 million. In 2012, we also had a frog hopper outbreak. In 2013, we had another frog hopper outbreak. And 18,000 acres of the established sugarcane fields were affected by frog hoppers causing an estimated reduction in production of 36%. This weapon here for biological control is a good initiative, one that we embrace, because we cannot continue relying on inorganic petrochemical products to do our pest and disease management. And we also have to start introducing, or rather increasing the cultural practices that we are engaged with in the sugar industry to make it more environmentally friendly, to make it healthier for our farmers. Over the years, farmers have had a tough time to control the frog hopper. They now welcome this lab, which will make the biological agent available to them at an affordable price. Roy Navarro, a sugarcane farmer and board member of the newest Sugarcane Farmer Association, says that the problem has persisted for a long time and they're relieved to be getting help. This project, I think it's good because we're preparing ourselves if in case, and I think sooner or later we'll have the, the pest again. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the project is good. Mm -hmm. What kind of problem does the frog hopper uh, create for the sugar farmers? What does it do to the crops? When the, the, the frog hopper, when it's, you know the frog hopper, it's a small uh, uh, insect. And when this frog hopper attacks the sugar cane, well, it basically destroys everything of the frog hopper, mm -hmm. including the, the, the plants and the quality. Mm -hmm. Has it been very difficult for the farmers to control this pest? Yes, it's very good, difficult to control, to control that pest. It's, in terms of, of chemicals, well, it's not good to use so much chemicals. That's why I think but this, this project, the biological uh, control is better than the chemical control. What kind of losses did you experience as a, as a result of this pest? In terms of 
if I could talk uh, in percentage, more than 50% of your crops. Of our crop. When, when this, this uh, pest attacks our cane fields. The lab is part of a wider project supported and funded by the European Union with the government of Belize and the Sugar Industry Research and Development Institute. Sirdi says that vegetable and fruit growers, as well as cattle herders and households, can use the metaresium to eliminate a number of pests. The metaresium is also proven to be effective against other pests like weevils, ticks, cockroaches, white flies, and adult grass loopers. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.